Hey guys, it's Kobitz, and today I'm going to be putting a little bit of everything in my fridge into the blender. So uh, let's let's get started with that. First, we got some milk. Every nice smoothie or whatever you call this milkshake. I don't know, fridge shake. That's what we'll call it. Need some milk. Definitely need some liquid. All right, we got some grape juice. Lower my cholesterol a little bit. So far, this is probably you know, gonna be pretty healthy for me. So that's good. I mean, you know, the milk will make me taller. I'm only 5'10". I'm, <laughs> I'm only average height, so, you know, that's kind of a fail. We got a cup of coffee that I put in the fridge. I guess I was gonna heat it up, but uh, now we're putting it in here. I feel like Starbucks should add a grape flavored drink. Time to make a sales pitch. All right, um, we got some yogurt here, some coffee yogurt. Another coffee item. Open this up here. And just get a little bit out there, that liquid that's on the top, get a little bit in there. This is actually my mom's, so I'm only gonna put that little bit in there. There, she'll never know the difference. Orange juice. So far we're pretty much all liquids and yogurt. Would yogurt be a lol squid? We got some water in our lemonade jar. Before we emptied this, it was cucumber lime flavored. Did not taste good. All right, that's everything on the top shelf there. Next, we got some cantaloupe. Now, with the solid stuff, I'm kind of afraid of how it's gonna blend. I'm just gonna kinda break it up into pieces there. Okay, here's some large eggs. I'll just crack this in here. Uh, put a little bit of the shell in there for good measure. Is eating raw eggs how you get salmonella? Alexa, how do you get salmonella? Salmonella infection is caused by swallowing This often includes eating raw foods like eggs, fish, oh. and produce. Alexa, stop. Any food could... Okay, eating raw eggs. All right, good. All right, here we got these uh, uh, Budweiser shortbread cookies. We got some uh, salad, just some lettuce and cucumbers and carrots. So far, pretty healthy. Oh, that was a mistake. Can we get an epic replay on that one? You know, I want to see that on uh, Tabuscus's cute win fail. Let's make it happen. All right, some V8. I didn't know I had so much healthy stuff in my fridge. Probably gonna lose like 10 pounds after I drink this. Okay, I don't, I don't think you're supposed to drink that. Oh, we got this jello thing. How long has this been in there? It's always tasty though, so I, you know, I can't expire, clearly. Let's just put that whole thing in there, I guess. I want you guys to see what we're working with here. Uh, so far. I feel like when we put this on the market, we should uh, have like a soup option available as well as the, you know, blended smoothie option. You know, just eat that right out of the blender with a spoon I could even do. Oh, we got my dinner from last night here. We got some bread and um, bow tie noodles pasta. Get some of that garlic bread in there. A few pieces of the bow tie noodle pasta. Got some nice grapes here. I'm gonna do a trick shot. Check this out. Yo! Did you see the way it hit the fridge and bounced into the blender, dude? That's gonna be a win on Cute Win Fail. I'm calling it now. You know, this video pretty much is just an episode of Cute Win Fail. Okay, farmer owned land lakes butter with canola oil spread. Gotta get some butter in there, dude. Oh, we got some grape flavored water here. All right, now we're on to the part that doesn't fit on camera. An apple, I'll just cut a little piece off of here and then eat the rest. There's a lot of stuff in here that's gonna be hard. Like, I can't just cut a piece off of everything and then eat it. Okay, an orange or a clementine or whatever this is. There's a couple slices in there. We got some flour tortillas here. All right, we're done with that part. Now we got the um, door of the fridge um, where we got um, 
Smoked salmon. Ooh. Is this cooked? What the? Is it? Is this what smoked salmon is? It's just like a paste? I didn't know that. Well, this is like my least favorite thing. Are you, do you just eat it out of the thing? This is how you eat, this is just a snack? Well, it tastes like smoked salmon. I could just eat this. <coughs> All right, man, that's good. I'll have to remember that for snack time. Some cream cheese. What is this? It doesn't even say what it is. It doesn't say what this is on the box. Crowned with quality Imperial. I don't know what it is. It looks like, it just looks like butter. Like I'm, we already got butter. Oh, not my smoked salmon. There's a lot. My smoked salmon. There's a lot of stuff in this door. Um, gonna have to do like a speed round or something. Uh, we got caramel macchiato coffee creamer. French vanilla coffee creamer. These will go well with the, you know, the coffee that's in there. Chocolate syrup. 100% lemon juice. That'll go well with the coffee. Yellow mustard. Yeah, all the mustard liquid coming out first. There you go. A1 steak sauce. Oh, this is gonna be fantastic. We got basil paste. Oh, man. Yeah, that's gonna be good. All right, basil paste first. We got a few pastes, so some basil paste in there. What other pastes we got? Chunky garlic. Ooh. I could just eat this straight out the... Uh, I ate it, it was just off camera. Uh, by uh, Gourmet Garden, chunky, gar chunky Garlic, Chunky Garden, Chunky Garlic. Stir and paste. We got lemongrass. Give this a little Thai flavor. Or is that Vietnamese? I don't know. And then maybe even some ginger paste. Wow. Now this is going to be fantastic. Really glad that this is in my fridge. I didn't look at what was in my fridge today. So I'm glad that this stuff is in there. I thought it was going to be like something disgusting. Ooh, hot crushed chili peppers. Ooh, hot crushed peppers. Oh man, okay, I forgot. <laughs> oh no, okay, so uh, this is Carolina Reaper hot sauce. Uh, Carolina Reapers are the, the second hottest pepper in the world. I've tried this stuff, you know, I used a little bit of it and it's, you know, the worst thing I've ever had. So we'll just be careful to just put a little bit in there. There, nice. General So sauce, spicy cocktail sauce. Uh, a bunch of cheese, Parmesan, fancy shredded five cheese Italian blend cheese, Mexican style four cheese, extra sharp cheddar cheese slices. We got two Kroger brand, one Food Lion brand, and one Kraft. Authentic stuff. I'll just put this whole slice in there. Yeah, that's gonna go well with the coffee and the Jello. All right, we already put butter. In. Oh wait, no, this isn't butter. It's I can't believe it's not butter. So I, you know, I guess we gotta put this in here. It's a spray kind. Oh wow! I really can't believe it's not butter. Oh, more cheese. Uh, Swiss cheese slices. Some zesty Italian salad dressing. You know, craft made salad dressing. Gotta have some soy in your diet. And red hot, hot sauce. Because we clearly don't have enough hot sauce in there yet. Oh, Texas Pete hot sauce because we clearly don't have enough hot sauce in there yet. Dumpling sauce. Oh, way too much. We got some mayonnaise. I love mayonnaise. <coughs> Hope you guys are blending along at home. If you are, make sure you're using the uh, Food Lion brand. Yeah, I, I know they don't have Food Lions everywhere, but you gotta, if you gotta commute, you gotta commute, man. You gotta get the Food Lion brand ranch dressing for this, or else it's just not gonna taste right. Ketchup. Okay, got some more salad dressing. We got a classic Caesar, my personal favorite Caesar dressing. 
Oh, and some blue cheese dressing as well. Honey sweet barbecue sauce. I don't have any bread, but I feel like it only makes sense for me to spread the jelly on something, so I'll use the closest thing. I got the saltine cracker here. There we go. Traditional salsa. I don't think anybody's going to be too happy about me using my jello covered spoon in there, but we got pure baking soda. And finally, we got some, uh, some limeade. And I, I wasn't going to go into my uh, freezer for anything else, but I'm going to get some, a nice scoop of cookie dough ice cream in there, too. Fantastic. So we got everything in here. Uh, I guess we should just see if it, if it blends the way it is. Let me show you what we're working with here first. I don't know. I, I, I feel like we could have done better. I feel, like, I feel like this might not really taste all that good. Let's give this a little bit of a blend. Well, I mean, I guess it's time to dispense. I got uh, two gamer cups here. We got the Super Mario block and we got the Twitch G Fuel. I got TwitchCon last year. I made a video at that TwitchCon. You guys should watch it. Oh man, all right. We got this epic breast cancer sticker in the background. This is the perfect shot. First, we're gonna we're gonna put some here in the in the gamer block. Oh, it's not coming out very nice. All right, if you want some on the go, it's got protein in it. It's, it's really got everything. Just fill up your Twitch G Fuel cup. And then you're ready for you know nutrients on the go. You got your entire fridge in one cup. I'm not gonna lie, guys. The whole time I was filming this video, I wasn't thinking about how I was actually gonna have to drink this. <sighs> this is I, this is I'm not overplaying this. I really do not want to do this. And then when you're on the go, I didn't actually swallow any. I couldn't, I, but I feel like I should. That that I'm. I don't know if I can handle that. Okay. Well, I don't know, dude. I, I give up, man. I don't. I. I give up. Clearly didn't taste as good as I thought it was going to. I don't know why I keep all this stuff in my fridge if it tastes so bad. It doesn't really make any sense. I don't know guys. Uh, I guess subscribe for more videos. They're not going to be like this. They're not going to be as disgusting. I mean, you know, I'm moving up to New Jersey for college soon. I, I might make some cool videos in New York City. I don't know. Alright, goodbye.